Hey everybody out there, I hope you're all having a great day and welcome back for another movie review video and today I'm going to be talking to you about my favorite out of the two Alien vs. Predator movies and that is Alien vs. Predator Requiem. I'm going to start my review off by giving you guys a little bit of warning in case you've never seen Alien vs. Predator Requiem because this tended to bother a lot of people. The movie is really dark and I don't mean in terms of tone or storytelling. I mean that they filmed it really dark. It is hard to see a lot of the scenes it's a little bit better in 4k but not much and it's a shame because from the silhouettes that you can see it looks like they have some pretty badass alien and predator costumes but i think they might have filmed it dark just to give it like that scary horror atmosphere and maybe to hide up some of the spots where the suit might have not looked the best. It personally didn't bother me too much but i can certainly understand why some other people would be annoyed because they might be sitting there going what exactly is going on in this movie because I can't see shit. But other than that I think we got a pretty good movie and the story of Alien vs Predator Requiem happens immediately after the story from the first one. If you haven't seen the first one you should know that at the end of that one there was a predator that was infected with an alien and after the elders come get the body of the fallen predator the pred alien is born on the ship and the only thing i can think to explain what happens next is the alien must have instantly grown to adult size because it causes havoc on the ship and the ship is close enough to earth to crash back into earth in a small town in the middle of nowhere and this movie is just freaking epic it feels like the comic book alien vs predator come to life it's just gory from start to finish and it did something up until now that we haven't seen before and that is to have a chest burster come out of a little kid yeah you could point to the little girl from aliens and alien 3 dying but really we didn't see what happened to her in this one we see what happens to the kid and they take it a step further because there's a scene in the hospital where with some pregnant women who are about to give birth that's absolutely brutal. After the Predator ship crashes into Earth, so there's a signal that makes it back to the Predator home world where there is a Predator that receives it and he sets out to clean up the mess that would be the aliens running loose on the surface and that is the best way I can think of to describe this Predator is kind of a one-man cleanup crew. There is a human element to the story but just like the first movie these characters are largely forgettable and no one that really stands out. The movie tries to to make you care about them but i think it fails largely and besides that's not really why you're watching the movie what you're watching the movie for is to see aliens versus predator but these humans are now caught in this small town that the aliens are invading and the predator is trying to hunt down the aliens and on the way he's decided to hunt some humans as well doesn't make a whole lot of sense to the story since presumably he's there to clean up from the mess from the first one but hey since you're here on earth why not get your hunt on right i really like everything about this movie even the crappy human element storyline but the best thing about the movie had to be the pred alien and the face-off between the Predator and the Pred Alien at the end of the movie. Again, there is a human element to the story running in the background of the movie, but it's not what I'm there to watch, and I really didn't care about that too much. It definitely didn't add to the movie, and it set it up for a third one that we're probably never going to get, at least not in the direction that they were going. At this point, you could just give me a movie where the Predators and Aliens are fighting, and I have to read subtitles, and I would be happy with no human element in the story at all. And that would certainly almost make a better storyline. There are so many things you could do with these two franchises, either separately or together, and I think we could get some really good storylines if we had some good writers working on these projects and not the movie Prey that they ripped off from a fan film, but really good storylines. You, There's just an endless possibility on both ends of what you could do. But giving the movie a rating between 1 and 10 guys, I give this one a solid 5 and that's the end of my review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all later. Bye.